Welcome to the introduction of the magic of 3JS. 3JS is a powerful JavaScript library that allows developers to create stunning 3D experiences directly in web browsers. This is a game changer for web development, opening up a world of possibilities for interactive visuals, immersive games, and engaging user interfaces. 3JS simplifies complex 3D programming concepts and provides a user-friendly API, making it accessible for both beginners and experienced developers. Traditionally, creating 3D graphics required specialized software and plugins, which were often resource-intensive and limited in accessibility. 3. JS breaks down these barriers by utilizing WebGL, a web standard for rendering 3D graphics within compatible browsers. This means users can experience 3D content without any additional installations. With 3JS, the power to create stunning 3D worlds is now literally at your fingertips. Now let's set up your workshop with Visual Studio Code and 3JS. Before we dive into coding, we need to set up our development environment. We'll use Visual Studio Code, a popular and versatile code editor that's free, lightweight, and packed with features that make coding a breeze. First, download and install Visual Studio Code from the official website. Once installed, we'll add the Live Server extension, a handy tool that allows us to instantly see our code changes reflected in the browser. Next, we need to include 3Js in our project. The easiest way is to use a content delivery network, CDN. This allows us to directly link to the 3JS library hosted online. We can add this link within the section of our HTML file. Now we're ready to start writing our 3JS code. Create a new HTML file and a corresponding JavaScript file. Link these files together using the tag in your HTML. Our workshop is ready and we can start building. We'll begin with a classic creating a 3D cube. Every 3D scene in 3Js requires three essential components, a scene, a camera, and a renderer. Think of the scene as our stage, the camera as our viewpoint, and the renderer as the artist who paints the final image. We'll initialize these elements using 3JDES functions, setting up the foundation of our 3D world. Now, let's create our cube. In 3Js, 3D objects are built using geometries and materials. Geometry defines the object's shape while material dictates its appearance. We'll use the function to create our cube's shape. We can specify its width, height, and depth. Next, we'll choose a material. 3Js offers various materials, from basic colors to complex textures. For our cube, we'll use and assign it a bright red color. Finally, we combine our geometry and material to create a mesh, which is our visible 3D object. We add this mesh to our scene. Using the renderer, we instruct 3 Days to render our scene from the camera's perspective onto the web page. Voila! Our 3D cube appears in the browser. We can further manipulate the cube's position, rotation, and scale using 3JS functions, bringing our creation to life. We've just scratched the surface of 3JS's vast capabilities. What we've learned today, setting up the environment, initializing 3JS, and creating a simple 3D object forms the foundation for exploring more complex 3D creations. 3JS offers a rich toolkit for lighting, animation, textures, and more. You can build interactive experiences, import 3D models, and even create virtual reality applications. The web is your canvas. Your imagination is the limit. Dive deeper into the world of 3JS and unleash your creativity. Numerous online resources, tutorials, and communities are there to support you on your 3D journey. Go forth and create amazing things.